If you're looking to purchase a house in the near future, you're going to want to watch today's video. We're talking about the Stockton Loda housing markets on today's Did You Know Show. All right, on today's show, we're talking about the city of Stockton and the city of Lodi. So if you want to jump ahead to the city of Lodi data, go ahead and do that with the chapters right down below. We're going to jump off with the average sold price here in Stockton. Julie, what do you got for us? So this graph that we have right here is all about pricing. Again, this is the city of Stockton. The average for sale price most recently was $524,000 which is the green line on the top. Mm -hmm. And underneath that, the red line, that is the average sales price, which most recently dipped down a little bit from the month before and sits at $454,000. Yeah, we're definitely off the highs of the market. We reached the high in April of this year at 490,000. So the increase of interest rates have definitely cooled down the buyer demand. They've cooled down this market. Matter of fact, the average sold price this last month at 454 equals almost the high of last year, which was 457,000. So if you're a buyer who's looking in 2021 and were unsuccessful in finding a house, well, the prices have come back down a little bit to equal those 2021 levels. Uh, and we're gonna get into the amount of homes on the market next. So you may have heard that inventory in our local market has been increasing and that is 100% accurate. On this graph that we're looking at here, it's all about the number of homes for sale and you'll see in the month of August, there was a huge spike in the light green bar, 483 homes for sale. That was up from the month before at 433. But if you just look at this year in general, it just keeps going up, which again is very promising and encouraging for buyers that were getting pretty discouraged discouraged by the low inventory levels and the competitiveness that had been going on. Yeah, there's a 67% increase in the amount of homes on the market from one year ago. So if you're a buyer, like I said, it's definitely better, more favorable market for you. One of the reasons why there's so many more homes for sale is just because we're having less sold homes. Uh, the amount of homes coming on the market is the same, but less are selling. Last month, there were 219 sold homes. And if you were to look back one year ago, in August of 2021, there are 279 sold homes. So what is that? 60 less sold homes from one year to this year. So that's 60 more homes that are potentially on the market versus a year ago. Additionally, there's also less pending sales. Last month, there were 246 homes that went pending. A year ago at this time, there were 321 homes that went pending. So the demand is less, causing the amount of homes on the market to increase. And it's taking homes longer to sell. So let's look at the next chart, which is your days on market chart. There is definitely an upward trend when it comes to average days on market in the city of Stockton. The graph that you're looking at here shows a bunch of orange bars at the bottom. Most recently, the average days on market was 23 days. That was an increase from the month before. And if you look at a year ago, a significant increase as well. So last year at this time, it was 15. And again, most recently, 23 days on market. Along the top here is a stat that you buyers definitely want to pay attention to. And that's the list to sales price ratio. For the first time in maybe years, three to four years, we've seen this list to sales price ratio fall under 100% in a significant way. It's down to 97%, which means homes are selling under the asking price on a, on a large scale. So uh, homes aren't going above asking price in most cases. They're not really selling at asking price. A lot of them, the sellers are actually giving concessions again, or they're taking reduced prices. So if you, again, are a buyer looking in this market, it's really turning into your favor here. All right, now let's get into the city of Lodi and let's see if it matches closely to what Stockton had to offer. All right, so looking at recent home pricing in the city of Lodi, we have a graph here to help explain it. The top line, the green line, is the average for sale price. Mm -hmm. And that has been steadily coming down, as you can see. Most recently, average for sale price was $737,000. I think a big piece of that is that sellers are becoming uh, more realistic with prices, more in tune to the shifting market mm -hmm. and pricing accordingly. Now, 
below that, we've got the red line, and that is the average sold price. Yeah. Maybe a little confusing because you see kind of a flattening for quite a few months and then a big uptick most recently where the average sold price was $638,000. And we believe, you know, there's a reason for that as well. There actually were quite a few uh, more expensive high-end properties that did close. Uh, we monitor that pretty closely when we look at the most expensive sold homes every month. So that is a factor there. Yeah, that 638,000 spike versus 534 from the month below, it definitely leads me to believe that there are some higher end homes that sold. But other than that, it's a relatively flattening price trend in Lodi. It's been around the 550 to 560 mark, 580 for quite some time. If you're, it just looks like a straight red line flat across the screen. And to show you another example of this, I wanna jump to the average price per square foot in Lodi to show you what that looks like. So here's another example of the flattening of home prices in Lodi. This is a chart showing the average price per square foot. And as you can see over the last four months or so, there's definitely a slow trickle down. We, in April was $327 price per square foot. Just last month was $323 per square foot. So another example of the flattening trend of prices in Lodi. Let's take a look now at the average days on market and how fast homes are selling for. Now things are definitely sitting on the market longer in the city of Lodi. This graph is evidence of that. There is a pretty significant spike most recently. And if you look across at the orange bars on the bottom, most recently homes have been sitting on the market for an average of 32 days. That was an increase of nine days from just the month before and a very significant difference from a year ago yeah. where they were on the market for just 17 days. And again, this is giving buyers a bit more breathing room um, to look at houses, again, compare and contrast mm -hmm. because there's increased inventory and not feel so pressured to get that offer in immediately. Um, again, time is still of the essence, but clearly things are sitting on the market longer. Yeah, with the increased rates recently, it's been really the tale of two markets. I mean, what we saw just a year ago or just four months ago is completely different from what we're seeing today. Another evidence of that is the list to sales price ratio of homes in Lodi. And as you can see, this has been declining quite rapidly. It was around 100% and then 98% for quite a few months. And then just last month, 93%. So homes are definitely selling on average under the asking price in the city of Lodi. So just another example of the favorable market conditions that it's creating here for buyers uh, looking in Lodi. So in a nutshell, as David said, things are definitely looking more favorable for buyers. Uh, we're excited to see that. And we know a lot of people out there got discouraged over the past year. Um, but again, all these trends are showing us that things are moving more positively in their favor. Yeah. We, of course, will continue to monitor what's going on in both Stockton and Lodi so we can share it with you guys. Yeah, in this shifting market, if you are considering selling your home in the near future and have questions about the process, or about maybe what the value of your house is in today's marketplace, uh, feel free to reach out. We're here to help you answer any questions whatsoever. And if you like this information, please, if you would help us by subscribing to our channel, if you're on YouTube, give us a thumbs up or a double tap if you're on Instagram or Facebook to see more of our content. We'll see you on the next video.